money of a new queen. What must have gone wrong in her life that made her to take the bold step to deactivate her Instagram account? Hello, beautiful people. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to each and every one of you listening to me at this point in time. This is Real Just Television. So, guys, please, if you've not subscribed to this channel, please do click on the subscribe button exactly like this. Mm -hmm. And do not forget to leave your notification bell on too so that once I post video, you'll get an alert. Okay, guys, on today's gist, it's all about Queen Ashley, the only black queen in the palace. Yes, she is Oni's latest queen that Oni introduced to us at Ologio Festival exactly on this attire. So no one mentions Queen Ashley without showing this picture. This picture was what she wore the very first time we saw her at the Ologio Festival. So guys, as you can see, see Queen Ashley seated beside Oni. That was at the Ologio Festival. She was on this exact attire. So before we move ahead, guys, please subscribe to this channel because in this channel, we'll be getting the first class news with a whole lot of evidence because we are about to start the main thing right now. So here comes the evidence that she has deactivated her Instagram account. So guys, this is Queen Ashley's Instagram account and what it looks like. And you'll be wondering how come she deactivated her account. That is what we are going to talk about right now. And you also be wondering how come I have this clip with me. Yes, I had this clip when her Instagram account was active. But if you search on the search button right now, it has been noted that the account has been deactivated. I know a whole lot of people will get up bashing me, saying that I'm lying. Yes, you can still pause this video and head straight to the Instagram to confirm this news before you can come back so that we can discuss more on why she had to deactivate her Instagram account. Or oh, I'm going to stop the clip here, okay? So people would now be wondering what made Queen Ashley to deactivate her Instagram account. I'm going to talk to you about what my source told me concerning the deactivation of this Instagram account. Since the very first time that Queen Naomi, that was on 23rd December 2020, one yes that she wrote things against Oni and she later let the world know that she is no longer interested in the marriage which led to their separation right now so and at the picture of everything people started pointing at her, Queen Ashley as a homebreaker so they decided to come after her some people came bashing her. Some people said a whole lot of things against her. That is so inhuman. In fact, things you shouldn't tell anyone because they made us to believe that a king can marry as many wives as he wants to. Understand? So, and the king did as people prefer him to do. And later, it uh, separated their marriage which made Queen Naomi to leave and people started to blame Queen Ashley. You know, in this part of the world, they don't really blame any man for going against the wife. They always blame the other lady at the other end for accepting the man. This is Queen Ashley. She had something with Oni. But right now, we cannot really say of the situation that they have in the palace right now although i will still make my investigation and give you a feedback so queen ashley decided to give herself a healing process of a whole lot of bashing coming from people coming from all over the corners so we don't really know if she's really going to come back to the social media but believe me i'm going to give you feedback because I'm going to push onto this um, investigation concerning her, this deactivating her account. I will find out more, although my source told me this. So, but before we go ahead again, I think I need to show you one of the comments, one of the head talks that people were trained on her that made her to deactivate her Instagram account. So we're going to reveal it 
and you still see that these things are no longer funny so here comes the first one this was um, this person says in this write-up is queen naomi we worn back in the palace let that lady go back to the father of her daughter and let this naomi enjoy her matrimonial home and the next person now says do not like this woman at all as in she's saying that she does not like the this uh, ashley at all so here comes another one so this person says what are you excited about what's all this why must this lady in all her travel and education end up marrying the only as the fourth serial wife what's wrong with nigerian ladies one queen is out another is going in may god have mercy on us mm. So this is part of the things that made her to run. So the last one was, was when someone decided to defend Queen Ashley. That this particular one is on her Instagram. If only she were to be active, you would have seen this particular comment. Okay. So this person tried to defend her because of people who are really bashing her. So this is what it says. It says some people's brains is not foreign as it should be again because i don't know why you be hating on someone and still her you know maybe she omitted something for what let's say you talk to someone older older than you and well to do than you because it is social media where is our respect because we are, are african especially yoruba if majority of people face their life the way they face somebody private life poverty will reduce by 40 percent so although this person omitted a, a lot of words but you can see that she or she was trying to make a point there by asking people to stop bashing queen ashley to tell the truth i really feel pity for her you know i really feel pity for her although we all love queen naomi but the culture made it like that a king marrying as many wives as he wants to has been in the culture and this is not the first time or would it be the last time and i think i just don't know what to say but believe me i feel pity for the both women yes they are all being tortured emotionally right now Queen Naomi is not finding it funny because divorce is not easy. Queen Ashley is now a victim of bully. So I really feel pity for each and every one of them. In everything, let the will of God happen. Yes, that is all we should say. Let the will of God happen. At least from now to two or three years time, the whole of this drama will end. And only will get to get his own permanent queen. Is either he reconciles with Queen Naomi or he moves ahead with Queen Ashley or he decides to get another queen. In everything, the queen seat will not be vacant for a long time. Or he will definitely get a wife for himself and it will be as soon as possible. Okay. So guys, any other information, believe me, I'll keep you updated. Okay. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Do have a nice day. Bye.